Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to make your 5M server joinable to people outside of your network. So that could be anyone, that could be your friends, but basically makes your server joinable to not only just you. It's actually relatively straightforward and it is doing a thing called port forwarding, which you would have to do on a VPS or on your home host if that's how you're running your server. And this is a very, very heavily requested video, which I have done in the past. But I thought I'd do a updated tutorial since a lot of you guys have been requesting it. And I'm going to try to simplify as much as possible. So whenever you guys hear or see someone referencing port forwarding, this is what we are going to be doing. So we are going to be port forwarding the port that our 5M server runs off to basically make your 5M server joinable to people outside of your network. So to do this, go to the bottom search bar on your Windows and then search for firewall. And that should bring up your Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. Just left click on that and hit open. Go to inbound rules and we're going to make two rules in here and then another two rules in our outbound rules. So to do that, hit new rule. We're going to select port. That's how we open the correct port. And then next, we're going to select TCP. And then for the local port, we're going to type 30120. And that'll be the exact same for all of you since that is the default port that 5M will run off on your internet. Hit next. Allow the connection. Next. Next. Type in a name. It doesn't have to match. Literally just do whatever you guys want. It doesn't have to be specific. You could call it anything as long as you guys know what this would be if you looked in your ports. Then just click finish. New rule again. Port. Next. This time we're going to select UDP. We're going to type in the exact same port again. 30120. Hit next. Allow the connection. Next. And then just type in the same name or similar and then hit finish. Now that is our inbound rules done. We're going to go to the outbound rules section and we're going to do almost the same thing. New rule or next TCP. We're going to type in the port 30120. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. Next, this time we need to tick allow the connection for default it is blocked, and then hit next, next, and then type in the port name, and then finish. And one last rule in the outbound rules, port, next, UDP this time, and then we're going to type in our port again, 30120, next, allow the connection, Next, next, and then type in our port name. And now we can hit finish. Now for a lot of you guys, this is the only steps you need to follow, and that will pretty much be it. And now your server is actually joinable to people outside of your network, especially on those of you guys using server hosts for VPSs. This is the only steps you need to follow. But some of you guys who have a little bit more high security networks like myself, you do also need to port forward on your router settings, which is not difficult to do. And it is following the exact same steps we have done in our Windows Defender firewall, but on your router settings. So to do that, all you guys need to do is hop onto Google and then just literally Google the name of your Wi-Fi provider and how to port forward. They will always, always have a guide by themselves on how to port forward on your router. A lot of people skip this step because it is a difficult thing to show on YouTube, which is why I can't really show it to you because it's pretty high security. and I can't really like expose myself in a way by DDoSing myself. But if you just Google, for example, BT internet port forwarding, and you guys can see BT have a guide on how to port forward on their router. It's actually pretty straightforward and it's pretty much the exact same thing we just did, but on our router settings instead of our firewall. So make sure you guys follow that step as well if it isn't working for you. Now, once you guys have done all those steps and you've port forwarded on your firewall and if needed on your router settings, then very, very simply start up your 5M server. And once it's started up, we're going to launch 5M. And this is to make it so your friends can join. Obviously, a lot of you guys will be used to connecting by either hitting the connect via LAN or either typing F8 and then connect local host like this. But obviously, your friends cannot do that because they are not on your own internet. So to grab a link that your friends can join by now, you have port forwarded your server. Just go to your server right here. Obviously, if you haven't connected to your server recently, then just connect and then back out. And then you can hit this page right here. And once you guys have done that, you guys can see there's a little join link right here next to your username. 
you can just copy that and then you can send it to your friends and they can very, very simply put that into the browser, put it into 5M and it will automatically connect them. Nice little link. You can also use it in your Discord servers as well. Great little useful link that you guys can use to send to pretty much everyone so anyone can join your 5M server after port forwarding. Hope you guys did find this video useful. I hope it was a little bit better compared to the previous tutorial. And also check out the channel sponsor, HDNetwork.1, down in the description below. If you guys are fed up with running your 5M server and the ins and outs of just general maintenance, check out HDNetwork to make your life a lot easier. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.